Hi guys, I'm Chef Michael Keane and welcome back to the Feel Good Now Kitchen. Today's recipe is ahi tuna crusted with wasabi and served with a citrus mixed green salad. Our first ingredient is ahi tuna. This isn't just any ahi tuna. This is a wild line caught ahi tuna and this is done by hand. The important thing to remember here is that we're not trolling for fish and getting a lot of byproducts that weren't intended for the catch. This is one line, one fish. That's a critical detail. And your fishmonger or seafood provider can tell you all about where things come from. Next, we have navel organic oranges. The navel orange has a really mellow, low acid flavor to it, which is gonna be a very nice compliment. Next, we have our organic parsley. This is a tight leaf parsley, not to be confused with the Italian parsley. This has a really nice little bit of bright green flavor, which is gonna go gorgeous with the wasabi. We also have a rustic baguette. This is a whole wheat baguette. We have mixed greens. This is just a blend of red romaine, arugula, regular green romaine, frisee, a couple of other options in there. And then we'll finish off with wasabi. So to start, grab a navel orange and just grate some of the skin off. This is gonna go into our crust and create a really nice little piquant citrus element. Next, I'm going to take this organic parsley and just make it small enough that it'll fit easily into our food processor. If you don't have a food processor, all of this can be done by hand. It's just a little bit more intensive with the knife. It's important that you do not over pulse the greens or you're gonna release too much water and create kind of a soppy mess. We want these to still be fairly dry inside of the basket. Next, we're going to cut the bread just into small enough chunks to also fit inside the food processor. Now, if you want, you can use store-bought breadcrumbs, but I prefer to use the kind that's left over from last night's dinner. It's ground up, it's fresh. This is also a nice way to reuse potentially wasted product. And then we'll add these to the food processor and pulse them in with the greens. Next, we're gonna take that citrus zest and just put it right in here with the rest of our ingredients in the food processor. And now just a small drizzle of extra virgin olive oil, which will help the bread to bind to the fish. One more pulse and we'll be ready to go. And now to crust our ahi tuna. First, we're going to spread wasabi on all sides of the tuna itself. This is gonna act as a binder ingredient and allow for all of the delicious breading to stick really nicely. The thing I love about this is that as you're taking a bite, with each single bite, you're gonna have that explosion of wonderful wasabi taste. And that's gonna treat it as if you're dipping it inside some kind of soy reduction or something, but not needing to. And then I'm just gonna pack this into the breading. You see, I'm doing this on a plate so it doesn't make a huge mess all over the kitchen. There is our breaded ahi tuna pre-sear. And now to sear the tuna. We need to sear it on every side of the tuna. So as this cooks, I'm gonna rotate it around, just letting it brown on one side, and that'll include the edges, and then we'll be set. And now, to segment our oranges, I've already peeled the orange with a knife, and then I'm just gonna go right in here between each one of the little white lines and draw out an orange segment. What this does is create a little bit of a sweeter flavor by not having the bitterness of that white segment as well as the regular orange flesh. And now to finish the salad, we're going to squeeze the navel orange over this. I'm just gonna squish it with my hands, get all the juice out of it that I can. By not dressing the salad, we create a healthier option. By not having extra fats in the dressing, you're allowed to eat a lot more, which is always great. And then we'll finish by tossing the salad lightly with our hands. And that was our recipe for wasabi crusted ahi tuna, served with a citrus salad. I'm Chef Michael Keane for the Feel Good Now Kitchen. Bon appetit.